What's up guys, it's Hillary and I'm back with another video. And this is going to be a story time on my crazy ass best friend. Let's get straight into this video. Take it back like I always do. Let's let's go back. Back at the time, right? I used to work at Planet Fitness. They ended up transferring me to one close to my house, which was amazing. When I got there, I had got there pretty early so that I can change into my uniform and meet the manager. I was met by the manager and my best friend, Amber. He lets Amber know, hey, take her around. When we go downstairs, it's kind of like introducing herself. Everything was cool. I didn't see her for like, I think a few, few days after that. And then I would come in for the afternoon while she was there for the morning. Came in, I get dressed, she on the phone. When I come back upstairs, I clock in, she clock out, but she still, she stood at the back. Like behind us was a door that was our break room. And she starts getting into an argument with whoever she's on the phone with. I was so mixy back then, that's so sad. Why you got your friend on the phone? Like, like put your friend back on the phone. So basically two people arguing against her. I don't know what possessed me. Grab her phone. <laughs> and I'm like, do you know what she work at? Come through. Like, so the girl hangs up and she was just like, looking at me like, you just defended me? I'm like, yeah. After that, it was like, we was like this. She called herself my best friend. We were, me and her, we'll go outside, we'll go hang out. Like that was, and it was crazy because when I met her, I had just got out of a relationship. I started realizing certain things about her were off, but I kept pushing it back. One thing that was a red flag that I should have noticed, she would attach herself to people and she would get so comfortable. Once she started getting to know me, she started hiding things. Red flag number two, this girl always used to want to fight somebody. It was always something. Anything would tick her off. She had a short fuse. I don't like going places that I don't feel comfortable. I'm not safe at. Like when we used to hang out with these men, I was a new person to these people. So of course, being that new person, flirt with me. And this girl used to have a fit and not a normal fit. Like leave my friend alone. She don't want to talk to y'all like a fit as in like she had a crush i wish i can remember exactly word for word what she said around the lines of you know if i wanted her i could have her are you done i had to let her know like that was never gonna happen one she was never my type two i don't like femmes three four friends we're friends i never overstep any of those boundaries male or female once we, once i call you my friend that's it we're never going anything deeper than that any guy that i would speak to she would get too comfortable with them like i would be on the phone and she got something to say while i'm on the phone if i'm on my phone and i'm on facetime with somebody please don't put your input because that's mad disrespectful i'm not talking to you and the person on the Phone. I'm talking to a person on the phone. The point that they'll be like, girl, mind your business. Like, why are you minding our business? And she will get tight. So now she think that she gonna argue with the person that I'm on the phone with and it's not gonna happen. You started and you will end up not liking them. Oh, I don't like that person. I'm dealing with them. So you don't need to like them. You don't have to deal with them because I'm dealing with them. Made me feel like you're doing too much. Amber right? hated the fact that I would like, I'm mad friendly. Whenever I was around any of her friends, she would not want me to have their Instagram, their, like any of their social media. She says that she don't want her friends to be friends because she don't want to be left out. I introduced her to two of my friends at that time. And it was very awkward. Her personality was very, 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 very strong and then matched that with the short people syndrome. She was through the freaking roof with her attitude, how she approaches people, how she handles situations. She also had this thing that she had fake ass women around her. She would say that's her friend, but I knew that wasn't her friend because how they really treated her. And, how and she would act so like ditzy. She don't see nothing. She don't know nothing. You remember Cola from the last video? Famous rapper, me dealing with the famous rapper. This is Amber, okay? Amber is Cola right? These are the same people. She would start some shit. I will always be behind her to defend her. That girl with me, never. I've had two situations with men, not even with women, because I can handle my own. Men that were her friends did something or said something disrespectful to me while she is standing right there. I'm like, those two situations when it happened, she's like, babe, what happened? Hmm? How? What? Instead of defending me, this girl sitting here asking stupid ass questions. She's acting so blind. Like SZA, I, I can't see I'm blind. blind. That was her. So it was a lot of little things leading up to us not being cool. She kept just being so extra with like wanting to hang out. If I was working or if I went to choose to hang out with somebody else or if I went to be with my partner, it was a problem. Oh, you're abandoning me. You don't love me. We're not best friends anymore. Like I have friends right now that we cannot go speaking to each other for weeks months even a year and when we do talk it's like nothing happened 
we're back at it again nothing happened nothing we didn't miss a step and i don't have to explain to you everything that was happening in my life why i couldn't communicate with you every time i didn't answer a call a text i went too many days without talking to her too many days even if i did spoke to her every single day too many days without hanging out with her it was a problem when i'm talking about a problem it was a point that i felt like i was explaining myself to someone that ain't you're not my girl you're like we're nothing we're supposed to be best friends that's it i'm so confused on what's the problem she also gave off a lot of trying to like compete with me if we was going to hang out she would want to know what i'm wearing from head to toe so that i won't I, i'll shine her and it was like girl like if you chilling you you chilling like there's times that she was done up makeup done all of that look cute and i was um, in there looking bummy and it is what it is because i was just hanging out i started seeing that her whole attire her whole style her whole aesthetic changed because let me tell you i don't have no shame in buying anything from rainbows pretty girls she ain't first and one any of these cheap little dink rinky dinky I, I go thrifting yes i do i don't care i don't care i don't care about name brands i don't care about none of that i just want to look good but me i I have my own style this girl went from wearing two-piece emoji sweatsuits and i'm not joking to dressing exactly like me i even stopped going shopping with her we will always go shopping together and she would legit buy everything that i'm getting and we'll be like oh well we're not gonna wear it the same day so i understood that but then there's gonna be times that we will wear it the same day because we both have the same thing but my thing is why are you not buying things that you like she would literally follow me throughout the store and see what i'm picking up what about shopping i remember one time we went out shopping and i'm making sure i'm set like i'm buying whatever i need to get why is it that she had the only attitude that i kept buying shit that i had more stuff than she did that was flooring me. I was so, I was so confused. Y'all don't even understand. I was so confused on how she's mad at me for not having enough money to buy more shit that you wanted to get. But okay, one day I'm at work. I stopped working at Planet Fitness and I started working at Audi Supermarket. She tells me about a party earlier that day. I told her, I was like, all right, like I'll pop out. Me not knowing she was drinking from earlier that day. As time is going by and I'm, I'm basically closing the store, getting ready to leave. I call her to see what she at, what she was doing. She sounds so fucking drunk. I'm outside. Where are you? Put the phone because you sound real drunk. So I get off, me and my coworker was gonna meet them up. And I'm hearing music in the background. Every time I talk to the phone, she hanged up. So I'm calling her back and I'm like, bro, stop hanging up the phone on me. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She did it to me like a good four or five times. I'm like, you know what? We're gonna get dressed. I'm gonna meet her. Just her to send the address. Call, I started calling her phone. She not answering. Started going to voicemail. So I'm like, wow, her phone died. So I go and I call where Amber at because I'm trying to call her and see like, you know, where y'all at. Give me the, you know, the address. Where you at? She's like, I'm gonna send you the address right now. I'm gonna send you the address right now. But I sent, I sent Amber home. I'm like, you sent her home. She told me she was with you. She's like, no, 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 no. I sent her home. I'm like, I just was on the phone with her like 20 minutes ago. And she told me that she was with you. Going on. Um, she's like, oh no. Um, she was Amber was so drunk, I couldn't deal. Like, I had to send her an Uber. I'm like, you sent her an Uber. Where you sent her over to? She went to her, um to her house. I sent her to her house. So I'm like, all right, cool. She was living at a friend house. I go and I call the friend. I said, hey, is Amber there? They said no. So now I get scared. I'm like, what the fuck? That, that, I, the only thing I thought of was an Uber driver doing some crazy shit. That's the only thing I thought of. So I'm like, it's okay, just come to me. Come to me and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you everything. It was a whole big thing to try to figure out where this girl was at. When we figure out the address that the Uber driver dropped her off to, I call him to see if she's there. She was there. I call her girlfriend at that time. I'm like, yo, she's at Cordell's house. We meet up the girlfriend there. The girlfriend grabs Amber, takes her to the house. That girl was so drunk that she don't remember none of that happening. And then the next day at like six in the morning, cause she had to open up the gym. She called, she called on my phone. Ryan, like what the fuck happened? But she asked me to leave my house at six, six thirty in the morning and meet her at the gym and be with her at the gym on my day off. And guess what I did? exactly that right next time she had gotten drunk me and her uh, a period of time where we wasn't seeing each other being around each other because i was in a relationship we go out to drinks and i told her i was going back to my girlfriend at that time i was going to my girlfriend's house we was in manhattan my girlfriend lived in harlem this girl she had to go all the way to the east you knowing this and me telling you this why would you choose to still get stupid drunk 
right stupid drunk that you can't even stay up we get on the train and i let her sleep on me most of the train ride but i was about to get off she only had like two more stops to take the a train straight to the east when i get to my girlfriend's house i called her phone and i see i was trying to see if she was okay if she was up a phone ringing i'm like oh she probably just underground still you gonna call me when she get home i go to sleep it's one in the morning two in the morning i go to sleep i get a phone call from her mom that her girlfriend is trying to reach her but her girlfriend can't can't figure out where she at. I'm like, oh yeah, we went out for some drinks and I left, I went to my girlfriend's house and she still on the train. One, her mom who, I'm not even trying to be disrespectful, but this is the same mom that knew your daughter was in that house because of your husband. This young girl was not living in the house because of y'all. Yeah. You used to only bring her fucking breads, loaf of breads, no, no food, no food stamps, no money here, buy food. Her mother had the nerve to tell me why would I not go with her all the way home? Like if my life didn't matter, because I was also intoxicated too. So she like, why you didn't leave with her? I'm like, what do you mean why I leave with her? I went to my girlfriend's house. I wasn't going back to the East. Oh, so you wasn't going back? Like, why would y'all not go to back to the same place if y'all knew y'all was drinking? I'm like, she knew that I wasn't coming back. So her mother was like, oh, call her phone because I, I don't know. She's not answering my phone calls. I'm like, if she's not answering your phone calls, she's not going to answer mine, but I'll try. Now the girlfriend is calling me. Like, why would you leave her? Why would you leave her? These people act like, fuck Hillary. Why would I leave her? On her phone, she's not answering. Her mom is like, oh, a police report needs to be made because I'm scared. I'm like, okay, so make a report. She's like, you was the last person with her, so you should make a report. I'm like, I guess. I go call the police. They came to the, my girlfriend's house. I filed a police report. There was nothing else that they could do. There was nothing else I could do. I called her mom, told her I made a police report. Called her girlfriend, I told her I made a police report. Called my mom too, woke my mom up. And I told my mother what was happening. My mother was blowing up her phone. My mother was like, she's asleep on the train right now. She's taking a whole joy ride throughout New York City. So my mother was blowing up her phone until that girl woke up. That girl woke up. She was somewhere in Manhattan. She gonna tell me later on her girlfriend was trying to blame me. Never defended me at all. That was, that started like, it didn't start the shit. But this is where slowly but surely me and her friendship was really just going down here. Our friendship really started it took a turn when I started dating this girl that she first met the girl, she liked the girl, and she was trying to get with the girl. Girlfriend zoned her from jump. They never did anything, never got nowhere. Like, they ended up becoming friends, like real close friends. The girl invited us to her party. So we both go, it was fun. We leaving now, girl was trying to talk to me, but she goes through Amber. And she tells Amber, like, hey, like, I really like Hillary. I really want to talk to her. Look me up. You're on the train heading back home now. And all I hear is typing. And I look to the side, mind you, I have my headphones in my ear. I'm bumping the music. And she looks angry. So I go, I'm like, you okay? She's like, wait, give me a minute. Texting. It looked like she was arguing. And she's like, puts her phone down. I really, one thing I don't like is that every time we go out, somebody, somebody always wanna like talk to you, somebody wants you. And I'm just looking at her like, I try my hardest not to laugh at that one because that was laughable. Like, how are you mad that, yeah, that was so laughable. I'm like, well, who are you talking about? She's like, she fiending for you, she fiending. I'm like, oh, but that's not gonna happen because in my head, they had something, right? That's what she was making the scene. I heard her like, you know, get lost, right to me. When she hit me up, she over here like, like, you know, flirt with me. So I'm black because who the, like, why do you think in my head, why do you think it's okay to, you thought she was gonna have both of us? Like, that's weird. Stop playing with me, yada, yada, yada. Like, black and I never had nothing with Amber. Me and Amber had nothing going on. I've always been her friend, so I don't understand what she's telling you, but Amber don't care. Amber over here telling me to, you know, write you and hit you up and get your number from you. Like, she gave me the okay, so I'm confused. On my end, this girl was blacking. Screenshotted it and sent it to me. I go and call her. I'm like, you and her never had nothing because you told me I did. This girl is telling me completely different story. Two, why are you telling her to hit me up if you was telling me you was mad that she was doing that in the first place? I'm so confused. Oh no, babe. Like, I, after I started thinking about it, this is her lying. After I started thinking about it, like, it was nothing. We had nothing. You, could, you guys can talk. Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't feel like it was okay that I started talking to her. I waited a little while. I didn't, like, jump right into it. So now, we would all hang out and this girl would just be on some... Huh, you talking to me? Mad quiet, just doing the most. Mind you, me would not even like kiss, touch, none of that when she was around. I just wanted to respect her at least, you know, and do that. So 
I started seeing more and more and more she was just better comfortable and doing the most. So I'm like, babe, if you don't want to hang out with us, that's fine. You don't have to hang out with us. No, I don't want to be left out. I don't want to be left out. And I'm just like, all right, but you seem so uncomfortable. No, I'm not. I promise I'm not. Last time we tried it, she looked mad uncomfortable. So I was just like, yeah, that's done. That's that. As time was going by, I started seeing that she really had a problem with it. And I'm like, babe, if you really want me to drop, friendship matters more. She was always telling me, no, no, it's okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. She started irritating me. I didn't really feel comfortable smoking at that time in my room because my room is so close to my mother's room and, you know, my little sister's room. And, like, the room is so small, so everything's going to escape. Like, you're going to smell it. And I didn't, like, at that moment, I wasn't comfortable yet. Like, I really wasn't comfortable doing that. So... We were smoking my whole way, or we would go on top of the roof and smoke in my roof, on my roof. And she used to be like, Bay, I think you should ask your mom if you can smoke in here. Mind you, bitch, you have an apartment that I can't even go into. Parents don't let you have friends come upstairs. Let alone you think that I'm gonna go upstairs and tell you to ask your parents so we can smoke. Make it make sense. You know what I mean? Uh she like she said it a few times, and I'm like, stop. Like, no, whenever I feel comfortable asking her, then I'm gonna ask her. Like, until then, I don't feel comfortable smoking in the crib. And that's just, that's just that. We're gonna smoke outside and that's just that. Like, mind you, she had another friend that basically didn't smoke, smoke a house. So she didn't have no problem or didn't sit here and kept pushing her for her to do anything. It was always, she respected it. So why are you not respecting it in my crib? Not only that, whenever she was in my crib, when someone says, get comfortable, this is your home. Don't get comfortable because this is not your home. This is not your house. You can be comfortable enough to sit down at a certain place, but like going up in their kitchen and open up their refrigerator door, like if they do run shit, that's a no-no. That is a motherfucking no-no. And she used to do that. Mind you, I seen her do that in other people's crib. And I never, she's never seen me open somebody's refrigerator, like if it's my crib. I've always asked the person, hey, can I get a glass of water? Hey, can I get a cup of juice? Hey, can I get some soda? Always asked anybody that I, I could have been in that house for the 11th time. That person could have been like, Hillary, this is your house. Like, open it, go get, no. Can I? Thank you very much. She seen that. And then not only did she see that, I've explained to her how my mother raised us. Like my mother will, my mother will always threaten us. I will beat the shit out of you if you thought you was gonna be in somebody's house and ask for anything, you're not gonna finish eating it. Ask for anything, you're not gonna finish drinking it. Why you asking for anything? You ask me and then I'll ask them. My mother would not play that shit. So I explained that to her. And on top of that, I'm like, you know, in my house, don't do that shit in my house. That went in one ear and came out the other with this girl. She would come in my house. My room was all the way in the back. I would be like, you know, when it's time for um, dinner, remember, my mother would call me to come get our plates. I'll be like, I'll be back. I got, I'm gonna go get the plates. She would like legit get up behind me and follow me to the kitchen. Oh, I'm gonna help you, babe. I'm like, no, go sit down, chill out. I got it. It's okay. Oh, she will do that all the time. It would no, I'm like, I don't need help. Just sit down. Like, I think she opened up my fridge like a few times, but the last, the very last time that she opened my fridge, I had to say something because it was like, who the fuck do you think you are? She eat with her eyes. She would want more than what she can consume. I don't like that because I don't waste people food. I don't give her a certain amount of juice. And she'd be like, that's so little. And I'm like, when you finish drinking it and you want more, then I'll give you more, okay? But right now, this is what you get. One day, she goes, um, I'm like, I got the food. Don't worry, sit down. She's like, I want to help you, though. I'm like, I don't need no help. Just stay in the room. Walks real quietly to the kitchen while we had out, while I had my back. And both me and my mother look back and she's in the fridge taking out our juice to, and I always set up two cups. She starts pouring mad juice. I'm not even going to drink all that. She's like, I am, I am. I'm like, don't pour my cup. I'm gonna pour my own cup. I don't remember if she finished drinking it, but I know damn well she left out of here with a pot belly because you're gonna finish everything. So I was just like, Ugh, I can't do it. We would, I would start hanging out with her and her friends and her friend would like, at first, when I first met her friend, her friend was very nice. Like everything was good. Like the friend was cool. It was, everything was cool. Like after I got with her, I started seeing her friends was treating me different. And I would ask her like, what's wrong with your friends? She would tell me, oh, she got into with her girlfriend. Nothing crazy, like, it's nothing, nothing towards you. She's got it to her girlfriend. But I started noticing, like, they weren't getting into it with each other. She was directing that iffy movement towards me. So I pressed her one time. I pressed um, Amber one time. I'm like, no, for real, what's, what's good with your friend? Because your friend is doing too much. 
and she's like, oh, I don't know, it's nothing, like whatever. How Amber started planting her seeds was one day, her and the, the friends to always argue. She will be like, why every time I'm arguing, I'm always bringing you up. And I'm like, I don't know, you tell me why is she bringing me up? Cause I'm gonna undo me. And she then started saying like, she's jealous of our friendship. She used to invite me to go out with, to eat with them and stuff like that. And then she would just stop inviting me. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, I would invite you, but it just wanted to be us. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. One day they were going back and forth and she's reading the text message and she didn't proofread the text message. So now she's reading the text message and you keep hanging out with that girl. That girl ain't your friend. She stops. And I see it all on her face that she said something she wasn't supposed to say, but she been hiding this the whole time. I'm gonna get back to that, but let me finish. Finish reading the text, then says what she said about her, like how she felt and da da da. And I'm like, all right, let's get back to why am I not a good friend to you? I'm confused. And she's like, so she has you on Facebook. But me and Anissia has something. And then next thing you know, she sees Anissia changing her cover picture and you change your cover picture. Like y'all change it to each other. I feel like, like you should have not talked to Anissia. And I'm like, understandable because that's your friend and she's not my friend. But did you, did you put in that extra piece of how me and you communicated how you were okay with everything, how we spoke on it. I've even told you I would have dropped in this year. Did you add that in? I don't care if she's not cool with me, but like, did you add that in? Cause I don't want you like hiding things. You can admit if you really want to, I'm not gonna be mad that when me and this year started talking that when you felt the type of way, you can find it in your friend. That is okay. If she still don't like me, then I don't give a fuck. Like I really don't care. Cause my friendship is not with hers, with you. And um, she was, and I'm like, you know, just don't talk shit about me with your friends because I don't, anything that I have to say about you, I say to you in your face. No, babe, da da, da like I, I told her everything. She just didn't want to hear it. So I was just like, all right, so that's fine. Me and her not friends, I don't give a fuck. And I'm like, so babe, why you didn't tell me that this girl didn't like me that whole time? You had me in that girl's face telling me that she was mad at her girlfriend the whole time when you just didn't need to have me around her. And she was like, well, the one who had the problem and she will always hit me up asking me what I was doing. And I would tell her like, I'm hanging out with you and she would still choose to come. So that's not really my fault. As time goes by, the, her other friend wanted to meet me, right? And figure out what was going on. We hanging out, we laughing, kicking. I'm gonna make this happen. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make us all become cool because you're dead ass mad cool, Hillary. I like you, I like you. Amber started getting into individual lashes. Right? She ended up, she knew somebody, I knew somebody that had a hair salon that had a chair available for her. They had a whole grand opening. She goes now, she wanted me to go because she was like, oh, you don't you don't pop up with me no more. Now, I worked overnight, I get home from work early that morning and me and my ex got into it bad. I was just not in the mood that a whole entire night, next day, I even called out of work. So next day I turn my phone back on, it's late in the afternoon. I see her throwing subs and I'm like, oh, I'm never gonna hear the end of this. Let me, you know, apologize to her because she feels that way. Even though I had my own personal things going on, still was thinking about her and her feelings. So I go and I text her a big ass paragraph, apologizing to her, telling her like, I didn't mean not, not to be there, but like me and Chris got into it. It's like a lot going on, but I hope everything was a success. My, she texts me back on some crazy shit. What? I'm tired of you like coming up with excuses. You never want to show face. Like, mad crazy, mad disrespectful. Not even ask me if I was okay. Like the first thing, at least she should have asked, are you okay? She knew that I was okay. Then if you want to black on me, then black on me. But no, this girl straight went for the jugular. I'm tired of this. I'm like, you're not a, like trying to say that like, I'm not a real friend. Just mad stuff, like mad stuff because I didn't go to her papa shop. I'm so heated that I literally got so much shit going on in my life that I will literally put that aside to apologize to somebody over something so stupid. And this is how you're gonna reply to me. So me and her was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And she's like, this conversation is getting nowhere. So I'm done talking. I'm like, you know what? You're done talking. I'm done for good. This friendship is done and over with. Days later now, I get a message from, hey, I wanna speak to you about something. So I call and she's like, listen, I'm not trying to be no fake ass person because I already told Amber I was going to talk to you or do this because at the end of the day, I didn't feel like it was right. So I'm just sitting there trying to listen and, and ain't no way somebody can introduce me and say all these great things about this person. And then now that you guys got into a little hiccup, you're like the worst person on this earth. And I'm like agreeing with her like, yeah, Amber used to do this thing that she would always want to be the victim. Amber came to my house and she hated 
then you ain't go to her pop-up shop. Like, I'm confused though, because I didn't go to her pop-up shop. And she's talking about how you such a dub, how you ain't shit, how she should have known what type of friend you was once you started fucking with Anissia. And I'm looking at the phone like, a word, this is how she's moving on her end? Cool. When well, she said that that blue minds and I was telling her like, she can't talk about you like that because she was just the same one defending you and like you. So you gotta pick a side, like, what is it? Is Hillary a bad person or is Hillary a good person? So I explained everything that happened. Amber was over there lying. Amber called that girl basically fuming. Why would Hillary talk to um, Anissia? Why would she do that? Like, that's not no real friend, yada, yada, yada. Thought that we was gonna not be friends no more. But then next thing you know, she's like, oh, I'm with Hillary. Why are you just saying mad shit about this girl? I'm so confused. And she was telling a whole lot of lies. A whole lot of lies. Like a few years later, she tries to write me on my birthday and didn't even like apologize, but said she ain't like how things ended. But she took it left. I'm texting you apologizing to you about not showing up at your papa shop why would you take things left and be like oh i'm tired of this i'm da 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 because i matched your energy you don't like how things ended you are the reason why things ended how it ended because you thought she was gonna talk to me crazy i never understood that she didn't want things to end like that and like if there's any way that we can be friends again like she would love that and i just looked at that whole inbox and left her ass sitting there and honestly i can really honestly say that i thank god me and that girl are not friends anymore because child she was a headache i'm happy for the good and the bad situations but yeah that's the story time still to this day i haven't spoken to that girl at all um and we gonna keep it like that that was the story time me and my friend from hell i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up share 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 just don't talk shit bitch because you can get hit home. Subscribe, and when you do subscribe, please click that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Also, follow all my social media um, accounts. And if you have any stories that you guys want me to tell, don't be afraid. DM me, inbox me, I'm open, and I keep it anonymously. My next video will be a story time. I'm, I'm already preparing that. Somebody already sent me their information, their story that they want me to tell. Now I'll be giving you guys a story time on someone else's business. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Um, I love you guys and yeah, peace.